Hello, everybody. Welcome to week four ELA. This week, we are going to read a book called Have You Filled a Bucket Today? I couldn't remember if it was Have You Filled Your Bucket or A Bucket. Have You Filled a Bucket Today? By Carol McLeod, illustrated by David Messing. While we are reading this, we are going to try to think of the main idea of the book. The main idea would be something that the book is about. So if we use last week's book, for example, last week we read The Giving Tree, and that book was about a little boy and a tree, and the things that the tree did for the little boy and how they made each other feel. So it was a lot about uh, the physical things that happened in the book, but more so about the emotional things and how they made each other feel. So that was what our main idea would be for last week's book. This week, we are going to think of what the main idea is for this week's book. Have you filled the bucket today? All day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. You can't see it, but it's there. Let's see if I can do this. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and good feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full, and you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're very happy when their buckets are full, and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket, and this is how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket, and other people need to fill need you to fill theirs. So, how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says or does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Many bucket dippers have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. If you love your mom and dad, why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket, and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver. He has a bucket. You could invite the new kid at school to play with you.
Or you could write a thank you note to your teacher. You could tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money and it doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill someone's bucket today. And at the end of the day, at the end of each day, ask yourself, did I fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler and that's you. There you go. So I didn't even really think of this. I wore a shirt that had a rainbow on it. And if you look at a lot of these pictures, the filled up buckets are rainbow color. Because when you think happiness, you usually think of a lot of colors and not just gray and things like that. So what we are going to do this week, you are going to have an activity. Let's see if I can bring it up. It is right here. Hopefully you can see this right now. This is your activity. It looks pretty plain. But that's the whole idea. There's nothing on here. Your job is to show how you, or actually, what the main idea of this book was. So you're going to draw a picture, any picture you want. It doesn't have to be from the book. It can be a, just something that you think the book was about. And you're going to draw that up in this area right here. So you're going to think the main idea is, and then you're going to tell me what the main idea was in the book. Remember to try to use complete sentences and punctuation and capitalization. You're always capitalizing the first word of each sentence and putting punctuation at the back, period, exclamation point, or question mark. You're probably going to be using periods and exclamation points right now. The next thing you're going to do right down here is show one detail or write one detail that tells me why you think that's the main idea. So if we were reading, we'll go back to this book right here. If we were reading The Giving Tree right now, I would say one detail to support the main idea is, and I could think and look back through and say, since I thought the main idea was that the tree tried to make the boy very happy and give him as much, as many things as, as she could think of, I could turn to this page and I would find this page and it says, and the tree was happy. So I would give a supporting detail that I know that this book is about the tree making the boy happy because it says, and the tree was happy. So your job here is to color up this picture. If you think that the main idea has something to do with adding some color to something and tell me one detail that supports the main idea. All right, I will have a link to that activity underneath this video and all of our videos this week and all of our activities this week are going to center around this book. Have you filled a bucket today? So hope you guys have an awesome week and a great summer.